Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. As we all saw, on Tuesday President Trump has shook Palestine and the whole Middle East with his latest statement. In the wake of the White House historical announcement that President Trump will formally recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, our insiders have come to an information that President Trump has actually called Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas to tell him that in near future the U.S. Embassy will be relocated to Jerusalem in Israel. Israeli news outlet Haaretz reported. The reported response from Abbas was predictable. Following the call, Abbas urged the Pope and the leaders of Russia, France, and Jordan to intervene against Trump's declared intention to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. This is not such a chilling situation since the Palestinian President Abbas warned the U.S. that there would be dangerous consequences if we recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. He said. The Palestinian stance is determined and steadfast, there will not be a Palestinian state without East Jerusalem as its capital, according to decisions by the international community. As Palestine issued their ridiculous warning, the White House explained their action as a recognition of reality that Jerusalem is indeed the stronghold of Israel. Conservative political commentator Ben Shapiro spoke on this issue. Jerusalem is the eternal capital of Israel, the dream of Jerusalem has animated the Jewish people for its entire existence, there is a reason the Psalms, 137-5, state, if I forget thee. Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill, Shapiro stated for the Daily Wire. At this point, we only know one thing for sure and that is that President Trump will not stand Muslims destroying Israel and unlike Obama, Trump won't stay silent on this issue. Jerusalem is the capital of Israel no matter what, so now, it will only be official and we can continue our progress there, rest there.